Today I want to show you some tricks that I have that keep my potted plants and my planters from drying out so quickly. This means a more healthier plant and less watering for me. It's a win-win. I'll show you how I do it. Now with all my baskets, I like to use something to hold moisture. Okay, so, because in baskets they seem to dry out so quickly. So this is a, a puppy pad and it will hold moisture and help the plants. And I also put some felt underlayment. It's what goes under carpet. That I use a lot. That holds the moisture and it lasts year after year. But the puppy pads will only last one year. You can also use baby diapers, adult diapers. It helps hold the moisture. In my uh, flower pots, if I don't use carpet or felt, then I'll use a diaper. This is an adult diaper. It wraps all the way around to the bottom of my container. And what that'll do is absorb water and it help water the plant. The drainage still can go through the holes, but there will be, always be some moisture in there and I won't have to water as so often. So you can use diapers. This is felt padding that goes under carpet. And I have some that I use carpet in. So this is a bigger bed. That's actually a fire ring. And I lined it with heavy duty plastic that I had. But I also lined the inside with carpet. So I won't have to water as often. That'll help keep the moisture in here. So when I'm working with a flower pot, this one I, I put felt in, but the carpet, I cut slits in the bottom because this flower pot is concaved. It, it gets smaller as it gets to, towards the base. So the slots, the cuts up the bottom will help make that circular motion that we need. So just put it in there like that. So some of my flower pots is going to be in full sun all day. I uh, cut circles to place down the bottom of the flower pot because this stuff will drain but it also hold the moisture. Just to give the plants a little extra something during the hot summer. You can see it down to the bottom of the pot. And I can fill it with dirt and plant them up. I got a whole package of them at the Goodwill for $2.99 and on half price day get for $1.50 for a big bag of adult diapers. Okay, this is underlayment felt. Comes in a big roll. And this is what I'm using. This is a colander that I made into a hanging flower basket. And what I do for this, I'm changing the dirt out this year. So I'm changing, I put a cocoa fiber in it. It has chains that I attach to it for hanging. But then, to help with the moisture situation, I place a puppy pad down in there. The puppy pad will hold the moisture. I put two drainage holes down the bottom, but I've done this year after year and it works great. Once you cover it with dirt, nobody I know you put a puppy pad down there. 
Nobody I know your secret to your beautiful plants. Here's a planter that's been here for probably three years with carpet in it. Carpet's still good. I'm replacing the soil in it, so I looked at the carpet and the carpet's still good. Here I'm using um, carpet inside of a pot to hold moisture. As a general thumb, I usually try to uh, use carpet in the bigger pots felt in the medium small pots and the small pots like hanging baskets things like that I like to use puppy pads mainly because uh, carpet's thicker uh, felt is a little more thinner and puppy pads are really thin so in this big container I'm using carpet you can usually find carpet used People getting new carpet usually want to throw away their old carpet and they'll give it to you for free. So, if somebody's putting down new carpet, ask them for their old carpet. As I have two of these metal baskets and I'm turning them into planters. So, I cut a piece of, of carpet. And I cut a piece of felt for the bottom. I'll show you that in a moment. So here's what I've done with it. This is the other one. So I put the carpet around. And I have the clothespins on it just to hold it while I put the dirt in. And then down there is the felt. And then I'm going to cut slits in the sides around and plant in some plants. So that's before. This is after. So now I have to get some dirt in there. So when you cut your um, your carpet, cut it a little bit bigger than the basket, so you have something to pin over. Plus, it gives you a little lee room. Because by the time you go all the way around, then it it wants to come up a little bit away from the basket. So. Just leave yourself some extra. You can always cut it off after you get the dirt in there.